Nigeria. Now let's go to Kenya, which recently launched Africa's largest wind power farm. The country aims to become a global leader in renewable energy. Right now, 70% of installed electricity capacity comes from renewable sources. And Kenya hopes to be powered entirely by green energy by 2020. Emmanuel Igunza has been to the wind farm. Welcome to Africa's biggest wind farm. These turbines at the Electrokana Wind Power Project are slowly turning Kenya into a global and continental leader in clean energy. This farm, which costs more than $690 million, began operations in late July, backed by a consortium of African European companies. Located in Kenya's northern region of Turkana, the farm has a total of 356 wind turbine generators. At full capacity, it will generate 310 megawatts of much-needed reliable electricity to the national grid. This area also sits on a unique climatological and meteorological zone that can get wind speeds and capacity of up to 60%, which is double the speeds of other wind farms across the world. Just from being the largest single IPP, renewable power, um, intermittent source of, power, of, of wind energy, um, it, it, it contributes to about 17% of Kenya's power needs um, during the day, during peak demand, and up to 30% of Kenya's power needs um, at night of peak demand. But in addition to that, as the economy grows and you have more manufacturing sectors and more uh, productive sectors of the economy that are, that are being, being implemented, as that power starts to be consumed and there is less surplus available, particularly at the off-peak nighttime demand, then what will happen is there is a larger base of consumers consuming the power that is currently being produced. That will, in the short to medium term, have significant impact on the cost of power and therefore the cost of doing business in Kenya. And the government says consumers are already enjoying cheaper electricity tariffs because of the energy generated here. If Lake Tukana was not there, then you would have to supplement that power with heavy fuel oil thermal generated power. And that contributes to the use of heavy fuel oil. That fuel cost adjustment has been reduced by 8.5 billion shillings. So in the first eight months of its operation, the wind farm has already made massive contributions towards the macroeconomic um, stability and, and, and parts of the, of the economy. This will also see the country end its reliance on fossil fuels. Well, the electricity generated here is already part of the national grid. It's already cut power outages by around 12%, and Kenyans can expect to have lower energy costs by between 7 to 10%. All this is part of the ambitious government project of becoming clean energy sufficient by next year. According to Kenya government plans, by next year, the country will produce 100% of its energy from renewable sources, including hydroelectricity, geothermal and solar power, and the potential here is huge. Already the country is Africa's leader in the geothermal sector and hosts the continent's largest geothermal plant here at Olkaria, northwest of the capital. With an installed capacity of more than 600 megawatts of geothermal energy, Kenya is well on its way of achieving its green energy ambitions by 2020. Nakuru County is one of the areas endowed with massive potential for both geothermal and solar energy. Our goal is to have green energy uh, contribution to our national energy matrix increase in the next two, three years. And the other companies that were here in the past um, that uh, had to close a few years back because of the cost of energy. So cost of energy contributes significantly to the overall uh, competitiveness of any industry. Despite this huge potential, millions of Kenyans like these ones have no access to electricity. The government has embarked on an ambitious project of connecting them to the grid and it hopes investment in mega energy projects on wind, solar and geothermal will go a long way in lighting up their lives and the country. Emmanuel Igunza there, reporting on Africa's largest wind power farm on the shores of Lake Turkana in northern Kenya.